Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome your faces to, yes, another Little Nightmares video. In today's video, we're not going to be talking about a theory as such, that's for the next upload, but today's video, we're talking more about Little Nightmares as a brand, and the future of Little Nightmares. And I think the main reason why I wanted to make this video is to give a type of answer to everyone typing the same old, where's the DLC? This game is dying, give us some content. Ugh, I'm waiting so long for this DLCs. And of course, I can't claim to be a saint because I have done that myself in the past. Not recently though, and I think that's because I actually took a moment of reflection on, you know, why I was commenting that. And it's... The reason why this video's come about. But everything I talk about today, I will try to be as factual as possible. And obviously, of course, as a fan and a content creator for Little Nightmares, I will try to get through this video without being totally biased to Little Nightmares. So, let's get into the video and let's talk about the future that we can see with Little Nightmares. And I say this because recently I noticed that Bandai Namco's LinkedIn page lists a few new job offerings. Now, of course, Bandai are a large company. They're offering jobs left, right, and center, and especially with a new place of employment, there are going to be jobs all over the place. But there's something really particular about these certain jobs they've posted, and that's because they give us a very good insight to what's going on at the company and what's going on currently with the Little Nightmares IP. And in our case, in the stuff we want to take a look at, there are two main positions that basically caught my eye. And I wanted to talk about them and what they include and how we can use that information to help rest our weary minds for the future. So let's begin with possibly the first uh, role they already have filled, and that's the assistant producer internship. So what does that even mean and what does the applicant even have to do? So the fastest and easy way to explain this role is to think of Lucas Russell. We recently did a, well I say recently, it's a pretty good time away now actually. We had an interview with Mr. Russell and in that interview you can, you can just see how important the role he plays in the Little Nightmares IP and company and the brand. In essence, an assistant producer is the wingman of Lucas. They have to help him with day-to-day, -day, you know, managements, project plans, etc, etc. But there are a lot of tasks, and this is why they need an assistant producer. But here's where it gets to the sort of super interesting, and this is probably one of the main reasons that I feel like I've included this in the video. And because I think it could help put, again, our minds at ease a little. And that's because this job offering is listed as a worldwide brand manager. Now, let's talk about briefly the responsibilities and requirements for the role very quickly because there is quite a chunky bit. So, the responsibilities of the role include the following. Teaming up with producer and marketing support teams to shape the game's development process according to the marketability's best practice. Defining and carrying out the brand's marketing strategy across worldwide territories, supporting regional and local offices to strengthen the brand in all territories. Ensuring an optimal project coordination and brand awareness by working efficiently with our internal experts and external stakeholders. Managing the marketing budget for each title, follow-up sales in volume and value, revenue and margin. Managing forecast, P&L and brand roadmap in general. Developing creative assets in cooperation with the developers and creative agencies, including key art, icon banners, trailers, media advertising, screenshots, renders, social media assets, website. Coordinating effort between sales and digital to optimize digital revenues using all available means, including promotional synergies with physical products, cross-platform partnerships. Maintaining a high level of working knowledge on the entire video game market, its emerging marketing trends and opportunities, and global environment market. Being a brand champion in Guardian, including asset approval for local territories and departments. Push new concept and avenues to the brand, and growing collaboration with the editorial team. Oh my, that was quite frankly a mouthful. So I know I sound like I'm kind of pitching you the job at this point but <laughs> there are two bits of information in there that I do want to reiterate and that's the managing the marketing budget for each title follow-up sales in volume value revenue and margin and managing forecast P&L and brand roadmap in general 
Now, these are important because of the, well, first part of managing the market budget for each title. Now, it's a very safe assumption to make that they're not marketing the old game because it would be useless unless they have some absolute kick-ass campaign in mind that would make everyone rebuy the original game. Then this must be for future projects and the use of each title makes me think there is a possibility that we could even be getting more than we first thought. Perhaps this could be an indication of many DLCs and games for the future of Little Nightmares. And as for the brand roadmap in general, it speaks for itself. It is basically confirming our idea about the future of Little Nightmares and the brand. It's safe to say that this is a massive indication of how committed the team at Bandai Namco are at making the Little Nightmares IP last and making sure they keep up with the fans' expectations and keeping the quality within the game, be that story or art direction. And again, it leads us to another same old point that we make a lot when we bring up the argument about future titles. Bandai Namco brought the IP from Tarsia since they were acquired by Embracer Group in December 2019. And as I mentioned, that they think the Little Nightmares could be the potential headline IP, which is incredible news for us all. It's just finding the right team to get behind that. And if I was a betting man, I would put my money on comics, DLCs and more games. I highly believe that this inclusion of a brand manager means that Bandai Namco are really moving forward in the development of bringing us more Little Nightmares content. And I think there's something to note as well. And obviously, a lot of people know Bandai Namco for a lot of their um, anime series and games such that follow, where I think they're actually shifting more of a focus towards their Western markets now. And Little Nightmares is, like they've mentioned before, a great headlining IP for that. So it makes sense that they're really trying to get behind the Little Nightmares brand. I suppose that only really leaves us with one question, and that's when. And that, of course, is the million dollar question. And I want to be honest while writing the script down too. While I know they must be working hard finding the right studio and team, in hiring the right people because we can see that yes they found themselves an assistant producer intern and we can only assume that from what we see on their linkedin profile but they are still accepting applicants for the brand manager role so they haven't actually found anyone yet or they're just going through the applications or they're making sure they get the right fit which is great news for all of us they know what their audience likes they know how to make the game and how to get it successful. They just need the right team behind it and the right person to lead it. But, you know, back to the main question, when I do think we will see a DLC in the year of 2022. And that's only if they have a team already working. And I do have a slight suspicion that it's under wraps at the moment, but I have a slight suspicion they might have already found a studio. But, with that being said, there won't be a new Little Nightmares, I don't think, till at least 2023 or 24. And that's if they can be quick. So hold out hope, but expect probably a DLC first. And should we keep asking for content? Well, yes, I suppose. But there may be a different way we could do this. We need to show everyone at Bandai Namco that we appreciate everything they do or create and that our enthusiasm and anticipation for Little Nightmares remains high and that we can't wait for the next installment or DLC. But I feel they know this. So I wouldn't say stop asking. I would say maybe approach it in a different way. Maybe make some fan art, make some fan games, keep playing the game, keep theorizing because this is what shows them that we as a community still care and well look at me for example we're still making videos today about little nightmares and like i mentioned one way to do this is fan games and from my own experience the area is a little tricky when it comes to fan games for little nightmares because as we know little nightmares fan games are in high demand people have ideas left and right 
it's really how to figure out how to execute it rather and i know this from when we were making the fan game we were making on the channel with my community when we were very not small small but very early into our youtube life uh, we ran into a gray area and the more i used to think about it it used to puzzle me but today i kind of understand it a lot more as when we were making the fan game back then we actually were pulling the models from in-game and streaming the process at the same time. And from what I could assume and tell, Bandai Namco didn't seem to have an issue with fan games. It was the fact that we were using the assets from Little Nightmares specifically and taking them back into a different engine and then reusing them. So, in other words, if you were making a fan game that was totally unique and into your art style, then I believe it will be okay. And I know this to be true because, in fact, my other fan game that I originally tried to, <laughs> to make uh, very early in my hobby uh, was the Papercraft games. And this is because they openly gave out the source material for that. And thus I ran with it. And I haven't had a cease and desist yet. And I know there's going to be a knock at my door any moment now. <laughs> But it's not to say fan games aren't being made because I know of one fan game currently that is being developed and I must say the chaps that are making it are absolutely fantastic and I am so excited to play that fan game. I'm pretty sure when it's ready to be given out we'll see it straight on this channel so fingers crossed and I really look forward to their development. But in conclusion to this video because I went on a bit of a tangent there, <laughs> I do think it's safe to assume that something is coming. But we just have to give it enough time to get here. Bandai Namco are really experienced. They know what they're doing. Look at their markets in the eastern side. They, they know what they're doing. And they're making huge steps for Little Nightmares and the IP. And the only thing between us and a new game or a DLC is time. And that means more time for theories. So, in hand in hand... Don't worry about it. We, we, we'll hold off. We'll do some more theories. We got. We, I got you. I got you. Don't worry. Don't worry. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for listening to my message. I hope it didn't make you cringe too hard. I did have to rewrite a few bits of these. But again, remember, it's me. Take it with a pinch of salt. Uh, and, you know, interpret it how you want to. But again, if you like this video, if you like Little Nightmares and all those theory crafting games, make sure you hit subscribe. It really helps me in the long run and it really supports the channel. And I would love to hear your opinion in the comments below. So please go ahead and drop a comment. I would love to have a back and forth about it. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching this video. Stay safe and I'll see you all in the next theory video. Bye.